In goal, just one step away from the Super Bowl, their comeback victory versus the Philadelphia Eagles was the franchise's biggest comeback in playoff history. WDSU's Sharif Ishak brings us more highlights. The Saints defense very salty after giving up 14 points and 153 yards in the first quarter. They only gave up 97 total yards the rest of the way. One of the turning points, Marshawn Lattimore's interception in the second quarter. Another turning point, Taysom Hill's fake punt. But the black and gold offense might have something to say when it comes to turning points on their first possession of the second half. The Saints got the ball on their own eight-yard line with 13 minutes and nine seconds left in the third quarter. And how about this? They go on an 18-play, 92-yard scoring drive that took off 11 minutes and 29 seconds off the clock. The longest scoring drive by time in a playoff game since the AFL-NFL merger in 1970. I was just told that we actually gained 117 yards on that drive. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's a record. <laughs> because of the penalties that kept setting us back and so yeah we went on a 117 play drive or a 117 yard drive in the third quarter by the end of the, the uh, drive it's like man you know we, we took up 18 plays in the whole quarter you know um, i mean that's a, that's a sign of a great offense you could hold the ball control it and, and go and finish finish the drive and score so you know we, 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 that's a huge that was a huge drive michael thomas was a huge part of that long drive four catches and the touchdown Thomas, just an amazing day, better than amazing. A franchise playoff record, 11 receptions for 171 yards, breaking both of Marcus Colston's records from the Seattle game back in the 2013 season when they faced them in the playoffs. Whatever it takes, it's win or go home. You know, it's, it's win or go home. You have to, whatever it takes, double, triple, um, not getting away from the ball, pulling a man out, whatever it takes, just do your job and do it at a high level. We've had a run with some great ones here in New Orleans, but. Um... You know, obviously over the last three years with Mike, uh, I've just got so much, so much trust and confidence in him. And you know, what you see on game day is what I see in practice every day. In that win over the Rams back in November, Michael Thomas set a Saints single game receiving record with 211 receiving yards and that 72 yard touchdown to seal the deal for the black and gold. It came over Rams cornerback Marcus Peters, and after the game, Peters was not happy with Sean Payton. So this game Sunday will definitely provide a ton of fireworks. In the Dome, Sharif Ishak, WDSU News. Thank you, Sharif. And now that the NFL Conference Championships are set, the Saints are going to fight for the title against the Los Angeles Rams on Sunday, and the New England Patriots will go against the Kansas City.